back is just um, two tone, just the same as the front in, in some, well, nothing like the front, if I'm honest. I was going to say it's just like the front. What's going on guys? Welcome to the channel, welcome to a brand new video, something a little bit different again, um, obviously compared to the matchday vlogs that we normally produce on the channel, uh, nobody is playing football, cannot wait to get back to normality, The you know, absolutely missing football, cannot wait to have it back. Um, so again, something a little bit different just to fill the void of no matchday vlogs. Um, so I figured along with the kits out challenge that is currently uh, hitting the internet and the uh, social media. Um, on Instagram and Twitter, I figured why not get my kits out. Um, these are majority of my kits. There are a few more that are vac packed uh, away in the attic. Um, but rather than trying to find those, I found the ones that I could get my hands to uh, real quick. So I've got 18 Swansea City shirts to go through. We're going to rate them uh, from uh, from 18th down to first. Um, each kit is my personal preference uh, i put them in the in that rank for a reason um it'll be for looks uh for you know sentimental value for uh, memories um and just you know overall feel for the shirt and which one i would grab on a match day or, or a weekend that i wanted to wear a swansea shirt um so we're going to rate them from 18th down to number one and let's just get right into it guys let's delve straight into the first shirt the first kit that i have uh, i'm rating is in 18th spot it is the 2017 2018 uh, home kit um it was our final season in the premier league uh, the sponsor is very large on this kit um it's got a different sort of pattern uh, above the sponsor and uh, with the crest um but for me it's boring it's plain to look at the sponsor's awful um i I don't like the Barracuda um, sponsorship on the on the on the sleeves, um, so it's boring. It's 18th for a reason. It's uh, bad memories with it, and just not a very nice kit to look at. So next up on the list in 17th spot is the 2016-2017 away kit. Um, it's like a, a light sky blue, um, smoky fade in into uh, grey to black. It's a bit hard to see there with the light in. Um, but the kit, it's just a very nice kit. I don't like, don't dislike it. Um, but in my opinion, um, I have an awful lot um, better looking kits than it. Um, you know, we had some fantastic players uh, playing in this kit. Um, I do really like it. There's no reason, other than I have better looking kits, for it to be so low on the list. Um, but it was, you know, it was a relegation struggling season. Um, we did have uh, quite a few uh, of our top players leave the, the season after this. Um, so I do like the kit. Um, it's only down in, in, eight, in 17th spot because um, the 16 above it, in my opinion, are a lot better and have far more sentimental value to me than this kit. So um, the away 2016-2017 uh, uh, kit is down in 17th spot. So next up, guys, is the uh, in 16th spot is the 2018-2019 uh, home kit. Um, again, quite a large, long sponsor. Um, it's it's quite a basic looking uh, quite a basic looking top. I mean, it's got a couple of stripes down the side. Um, nothing like Adidas, if I'm honest. A couple of lines too many, um, but it's got it's quite a nice feel to it. Um, but you know, I don't really like the pattern. Um, it's got the breathable material down the down the sides, just underneath the arms and across the shoulders. Um, the back, it's just looks like a basic white top. Um, not my cup, not my cup of tea. Uh, bought it just because um, you know it was an enjoyable season. I think I got that in the sales towards the end of the season. Um, you know, Dan James, Holly McBurney, um, tearing the championship in that tearing the championship up in that kit. Um, so yeah. It's not the best to look at, but it's quite a nice, it's quite a good kit um, and decent season in the league. Okay, um, next kit on the list uh, in 15th spot 
Uh, I'm probably going to get crucified for, by this decision by a lot of Swansea fans. Um, there's a very good reason why this kit is not higher in the list. Um, there's a very good reason for it. Um, but this kit is absolutely beautiful. Um, it's orange. It means an awful lot. Um, it was our first season back in the Premier League. It was our away kit. So it is the 2011-2012 uh, away kit. Um, what a kit. Absolutely beautiful. As I say, first season back uh, in the Premier League uh, since the 80s. Um, and partnered with that was the first um, Adidas um, manufactured kit since the 1979 um, so it does go back, it, you know, it brings back some memories for a lot of the older fans, uh, older than me. Um, it will bring back a lot of sentimental value for a lot of the older fans. Um, but the away kit from that season was absolutely fantastic. We we passed the Premier League um, around on that pitch. Um, a lot of teams really struggled with us this season. Um, you know, 32 red, it's, you know, it's a basic black, uh, black sponsor. Uh, it's a little bit faded on this one. Um, just at the top on the R and the E, um, but I had went for Nathan Dyer on the back and guys, fuzzy lettering. I don't know how you guys feel about that, but um, much prefer the uh, you know the material um, numbers and uh, letters on the back of the shirts. Um, much more prefer that compared to the um, you know the vinyl sort of stuff that we get now. Um, beautiful kit, orange and white, um, and Adidas was so happy to get another Adidas kit guys um, but yeah it means an awful lot but there's a very good reason and we'll get to that later in the video um, why this is not higher up in my list okay so in 14th spot on my on the list of my favorite uh, Swansea City kits is last season's uh, third kit limited edition uh, burgundy black and gold um, honestly what a good looking kit this is absolutely fantastic um again big long sponsor uh, bet uk on the front um swansea city university on the back as a local sponsor um just a very nice looking kit i mean it's burgundy you're most of the way down but as you get to the top you've got the gold uh, the gold trim uh partnered with the the, the black there um gold around the collar um, just a, you know buttoned collar as well um, you can see that just a little bit better there um, but an absolutely fantastic looking kit um, again would be higher up um, but the kits I've got guys they mean an awful lot to me again fantastic memories involved with those and this is just a bit recent to be any higher up on the list I think um, but a fantastic looking kit beautiful color combination and to be honest whoever approved that and designed that kit give yourself a tap on the back because that's a fantastic looking kit so in 13th spot is another recent kit uh, it's last season's 2018 2019 away kit orange uh, fading into like a smoky gray and black um, again beautiful looking kit I think last season to be honest for three good looking kits uh, it was probably one of the best seasons um, again probably would be higher up but it wasn't a very, you know, it wasn't a massively memorable season. Um, you know, um, I, I like the kit. I got it for a good reason. Um, I think I bought it towards, uh, well, I got it as soon as it came out on sale. Um, but there are far better kits that I've got than this one. The back is just um, two-tone, just the same as the front in, in some, well, nothing like the front, I'm honest. I was going to say it's just like the front. Nothing like the front. Um, it is it is a nice kit. I mean, like I see we had three beautiful kits last season, um, but recent kits they're not gonna, really going to feature too high up on my list if I'm honest. Um, I've got far better looking kits that mean so much more to me than this, but it's a fantastic looking kit. And um, yeah, 13 spots not too bad I think for a recent kit. But there you go, that's that one. Uh, now I know I just said that recent kits don't really feature any uh, very high up on my list. Um, but this one is something special. Um, this season's home kit, 2019 2020 championship home kit for Swansea City, is white, uh, Yobet, uh, made by Joma. Um, 
But what is so special about this kit and what I love about this kit is if you can see there on the screen, this is white camo. Um, it's an absolutely fantastic looking kit. I think you can see it a bit more as I move. Um, but yeah, there it is. If you can focus on the screen, absolutely fantastic idea. What a beautiful, beautiful kit. And um, it is so smooth. It's kind of silky. Um, it's a really nice feel. A beautiful looking home kit. Um, I think to be fair to Joma, um, they've absolutely smashed that there. Uh, down at the bottom, it's got uh, City said I, um, which of course we will get onto that a little bit further down the list. Um, but it references to um, 50 years since Swansea, since Swansea Town became a city. Um, so yeah, very special, um, important sort of sort of year for for Swansea as a whole as as a city. Um, and again with the Swansea University on the back as all of last season's kits had. Um, but a fantastic looking home kit and I love the idea of a white camo kit. Um, I've still got the tags on it. I think if I'm right in saying I got it, it was a 70% off sale not too long ago on the Swansea City website and I picked that up and if I'm honest with all of us going on in the crazy world at the moment uh, I've not had the best opportunities to wear that down to the Liberty Stadium so that will be going on as soon as the football season resumes and yeah fantastic kit. Um, there's a reason quite a lot of these kits uh, at the moment have not got any names on the back, especially in recent years. Um, bit of a jinx, a lot of the players that I tend to get on the back of the shirts tend to leave either the following transfer window, uh, that current transfer window, or just have an absolutely awful time in Swansea and then end up leaving with barely playing a game. Um, and I'll get a touch base on that again as we get into uh, into the video a bit further down the line. Um, but that's it. That, that's the uh, that's the home kit from from this season. Beautiful looking kit. So next up on the list, um, very special kit um, coming up next. Again, something that could have easily been uh, featured much much higher up on the list. Um, an awful lot of sentimental value, an awful lot of um, of memories, and a very very um, important kit for this this season. Um, it was the final season that Swansea City played in the Vetchfield uh, before moving to the uh, the brand new stadium, the Liberty Stadium. Um, it's the away kit from the 2004-2005 season. Um, it is, well, it's something special. Let's look at that. Let's take a look at that before we, uh, we start talking about it. What a gorgeous looking kit. Um, right. So, as I was saying, the final season Swansea City played at the Vetchfield. Um, I believe the summer before the season started, um, there was uh, obviously articles in newspapers online um, where you could submit your name uh, to feature on the on the on the shirt. Um, so there is this kit is completely covered uh, in people's names um, from front to back. Um, I would say it's inside, but it is not. Obviously, you can still sort of see the names through it uh, a little bit in some light. Um, but from top to bottom, front to back, all the way down, uh, all over the sleeves, all the material has people's names on it. Um, some people's names have, ha have been chopped off there, but um, yeah, what an absolutely brilliant idea. I'm not going to say, I'm not sure if you had to pay for that. Um, but the Begoni kit um, with the Remax sponsor on. There's probably not an awful lot of um, of you know the younger fan base that's going to remember this. Um, but there it is. There is the Vetchfield 1912 to 2005. Um, very very special kit. Not one that I wear very often. Um, to be fair, it's got quite a bit of scags on it, which is one of the reasons why I don't wear it. I don't want to damage it anymore. Um, but that, to me, is up there with one of my favourite. And I don't really know why I didn't put it in the top 10. Uh, it features an 11 spot on my list. But there you go. That's the uh, 18 to 11 for you guys. That's it for this video. So, guys, let me know in the comment section um, what you think, uh, how you think I rated the, the kits, if you think I rated them fairly, if any of those uh, 18 to 11 should be any higher up on the list, um, if you think any of those should possibly feature in the top 10. Um, leave your your uh, top 10 or top 5 uh, Swansea City kits uh, down in the, in the comments and uh, you know 
let's have a little discussion going on. Let's see what you guys think. Um, it is this interactive bit on this video. Um, there's going to be another video coming where it's going to feature the top 10. Uh, that's going to be 10 down to number 1. Um, and let me tell you, there is some absolutely stunning and amazing kits here um, with some fantastic memories, guys. So that is it. As I say, that is, that's that video done. Uh, guys, be sure to subscribe. Please comment down below, like the video, and we shall catch you on the next one.